Oh, really, guys, I'm going to talk to you today about the Black Dahlia murder. Okay, the Black Dahlia murders, um, the body of the Black Dahlia was found on January 15th, 1947. Now, the when the body was found, the body had been bisected in two, um, bisected at the waist, and only one drop of blood was found on the whole crime scene. That means... Before the body was dumped in the in the lot of a department store, and it was a grass lot where a lot of dew was. Before it had been dumped, the body uh, and bisected, the body had been drained of pretty much all its blood except for one drop. And uh, which seems like, in my opinion, whoever did that was was a professional surgeon or somebody that had a lot of surgical training. That's my opinion. Okay, um, they ran the fingerprints of the of the victim, and it turned out to be Elizabeth Short, otherwise known as Betty Short. And she had her fingerprints on file by the FBI for two reasons. One, when she applied to work as a civilian worker at an Army uh, post, they fingerprinted her and ran a background check um, before they hired her. And then number two, she got busted for underage drinking with soldiers, but the police arrested and arrested everybody in the group. She wasn't drinking. She was one of the few in the group who wasn't, but it was kind of a systematic roundup. And that's according to former cop Steve Hodell, who was with the LAPD, not at the time of the murder, but he had spent a career in the LAPD, about 23, 24 years. And, um, actually is what I was gonna get to, um, he believes that his father killed the Black Dahlia, and let me explain this. Okay, his father was a doctor, and surgery was one of his major skills, and that was the course he scored the highest on in medical school. And so, in that body being bisected, um, it had to be the work of a professional who was really, really good at something like surgery. And then Steve Odell notes that. Also, the Black Dahlia killer, killer would send notes to the press and to the police taunting them. Well, uh, Steve Odell saw one of the letters, and he thought it looked like his father's handwriting, so he hired a court expert who was uh, an expert at identifying handwriting. And the... Excuse me, one second. And the... Hand, the court expert looked at it and said highly probable, which meaning the one of the letters um, had matched his dad's handwriting was highly likely that it did. And um, Steve Hodell had lived with his father for a while, and at one point he was very close to his father, but he also knew his father was very eccentric, and his father was, uh, in his mind, a, a, a sex addict. And that was another reason he believed that his father had uh, had killed the Black Dahlia. And Elizabeth Short got the name the Black Dahlia because there was a play, the Blue Dahlia. And while the Blue Dahlia had in the in the play had blue hair, she had similar facial features and similar beauty to Betty Short. And that's how they gave her the nickname, the Black Dahlia. Okay, I honestly believe Steve Hodell. I believe his father, George, Dr. George Hill Hodell, did kill um, Betty Short. Um, a similar car he drove, a uh, black car that he drove. And the same model, there was a witness who said and reported seeing a model very, very similar to Dr. Hodel's car the night before the body was found in that vicinity, in the vicinity of the department store. Um, so, like I said, I, I firmly believe you should check out um, the Steve Hodel's book about the Black Dahlia and the Black Dahlia murder. And I firmly believe that uh, Dr. George hell hodell did kill the black dahlia or uh kill elizabeth short and elizabeth short while she was from massachusetts originally she considered california her home so that's why her family had her buried not in la but in uh, oakland california so uh, she's buried uh in oakland california and she passed away too young uh she died at uh, in a senseless murder at the age of 22 and she was not a bad kid she was not in or she was not a bad lady she was not in porn or prostitution or anything those were all myths uh and steve hodell does a good job clearing that 
she wasn't even an underage drinker. Now, she really uh, wanted to meet Lieutenant Wright, wanted to come down to California and meet and marry a military officer because that was kind of the profession, the most popular profession um, back then in the 1940s. And she really wanted to do that. And she was kind of a tease, went on several dates, but she was never um, involved in prostitution or pornography or anything like that. And there's been no proof of that, as Steve Hodell notes. And also, one more thing for you, um, Dr. George Hill Hodell lived in California for a while, but he also lived in the Philippines, married a Filipina senator. And when he was living in the Philippines, less than a block from his house, there was a murder very similar to the Black Dahlia that happened. The body was bisected the exact same way the Black Dahlia, or uh, Elizabeth Short, was bisected. So, to me, that's one, that's the main reason, honestly, why I believe that Dr. George Hill Hodell murdered Elizabeth Short, a.k.a. the Black Dahlia. So, if everybody's doing well, take care. God bless them. Bye. Bye.